Hello, and welcome to LinMount Tutorials. At this point, you should have already installed the newest firmware release. So now, we will begin by opening LinMount Talk, and go to File, Login, Open Offline. Then click OK. As you see here, there is an error stating that there is no motor defined. This can be fixed by going through the motor wizard process shown here. Click on the icon. And here it shows you the list of motors that we use. For example, linear motors, linear rotary motor, and rotary motors. For this instance, we will be using a linear motor. After choosing your motor family, you will be brought to this page. Now keep in mind as to what stator is being used for your LinMod system. In this case, we have a PSO1-37 by 120-C or part number 0150-1223. So now, following the name of the stator, we click on PSO1-37X. PSO1-37 by 120X. Note that there are three motor files. These files correlate to different motor firmware versions. The motor firmware is backwards compatible, so it is recommended to always select the latest version, which is V3S3. Now, we choose our stator by clicking down right here and go to PSO1-37X120-C. Now that you have chosen your stator, now you have to choose the slider by clicking down right here. And here you can choose a variety of sliders. In this instance, we will be using the PL01-20 by 395 over 320. We usually find the part number on the bill materials. The chart below contains information on slider identification to be used when a BOM is not available. Next, we define the slider mounting direction. The mounting direction is considered regular if the slider's notch or clip ring is on the opposite side of the motor's connector, and reversed if the notch and connector is on the same side of the motor. Then click Next. Here is where you can choose a drive name and, if possible, a regeneration resistor. Available for E-Series drives. Here, we can name the drive so that, that it is easily identified. In this case, we'll keep it as drive 1. In this step, the motor cable can be defined, allowing the drive to compensate for the resistance of the cables. We are using the K05 half a meter. Cables are classified by cross-sectional area and length and can be identified via the bill of materials or the sticker on the cable. And this is completed so that Linmat Talk is able to configure the resistance of the cable. Linmat drives support the use of external position sensors when repeatability as low as 10 microns or absolute position feedback is required. Several protocols for position feedback are supported, and Linmat offers both incremental and absolute position sensors. In this example, no external position sensor is used. Here, on the feed forward parameters step, you can change what is the moving part of the motor. You can change from the slider, which only the slider will move, or the stator, whereas the stator will only move. In this case, we won't keep it as the slider. You can also change the angle depending how the motor is placed. In this instance, we will keep it as horizontal, but it can also be changed vertically, upwards, or downwards. Again, we will keep it as horizontal. You can also add additional load mass if necessary, change the friction, and if there are max springs, you can change the external constant force. In this case, everything will be left as default.
Here we have the PID position controller. It is recommended to start with default soft settings because the parameters can be changed anytime. With soft parameter, settings, PID, values will be low. The motor is low noise and the position is not controlled very stiffly. With stiff parameter settings, has more noise and more power consumption of the motor. But the position will be controlled harder. The noise filter option is to reduce the noise from the position feedback sensor at standstill. We will keep this as default and go next. The default homing mode is mechanical stop negative search in which the motor travels in the negative direction until it hits a hard stop, which it detects by observing a spike in current. Several other homing methods can be defined in this step. The driver uses the parameters defined in this step in order to determine the alignment of the slider within the stator at the home position. For mechanical stop negative search homing, these settings reflect the distances when the motor is at the hard stop. These settings can be left as default unless a tooling is attached changes the position of the hard stop or an alternate home routine is used. The last step of the motor wizard is used to define the coordinate system. By default, the home position, hard stop and mechanical stop, negative search homing, is set to negative 10, with the initial position set to 0. When homing with these settings, the motor will move in the negative direction until it reaches the hard stop. Define that position is negative 10 millimeters, then back off the hard stop to zero. This offset ensures that when the motor is sent to zero during operation, it will not slam into the hard stop and damage the motor. Now we click on finish. The firmware in the drive is running. It must be stopped before the parameters can be written into the drive. We click yes to stop it. And then go to the green icon as shown here to reboot the drive. Click yes. And now we have our motor in operation. As you can see here, the motor status is switched off and the motor is not homed. And you can also see the supply voltage up from the motor and the logic supplies. Now we're going to home our motor by using the control panel shown here. So first, we click on the Enable Manual Override on Switch On. Now click on the Override value to False, and then True. This will switch on the motor. And now, we go to the Home, Enable Manual Override, and then Override value. Now once the motor is homed, it will zero the position as shown here. The demand position is shown to be zero, and the actual position of the slider is near zero as to 0.13 millimeters. The 0.13 millimeters can be greatly improved with proper tuning of the motor. Now we uncheck the home of the override values, and now we are ready for operation.